People always love and respect this sneaker. They have the entire set, all gold. Because there's only 150 pairs being released. Ring Ceremony, Air Jordan 11, made for Ray Allen. And then here's one of the ones. Uh, you know what's up, we got like one here, one there, and we have uh, another one too okay. over there. Okay. Purple Travis Scott Force. Welcome back to part two. If you guys haven't seen the first episode, make sure you guys go check that one out after this one because we're definitely gonna have a couple more. And if you guys didn't know by now, my name is DJ and this is the DNA show. So let's go ahead and get right into it because we already got a lot to go over. We stopped around this kind of area. So let's go ahead and start cracking some more boxes open. D Wade, The Flash. I don't know if everybody remembers, but Dwayne Wade actually used to be on Jordan Brand before he got his deal with Lee Ning. And then he had his own PEs as well. So I'm assuming if I see a size 15 right here and another box just below that, it's probably gonna be another D Wade shoot. And it is the Dwayne Wade 12. He had a bunch of different models and as you can see it has his name on the back end right here another dope pe and yeah i think i think low-key d wade had some really fire pe's in his time that not too many people talked about sheesh og with it so anybody remembers from the city pack especially seeing the Knicks tens like this og box and everything super dope shoe i think that era that time was just amazing like you always wanted to put that pack together look at the bb12 lows purple with the white hit here just below the mud guard you got the bb on the back these things are dead stock and in amazing condition these look really really good actually bro um it's crazy because bb's used to hit at the time for like bread and now compared to relative to some of these other shoes we've seen in here gary payton 12 the other foot is somewhere in here we saw it earlier um but it's just, yeah, it's crazy to think about how some of these shoes used to hit. Um, and thinking like, oh, $2,000 is so much for a shoe. Wow, 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 $3,000. Now it's like 20,000, 30,000, you know, and see different, ooh, I need these. I know these are in my size too. I still need these. So I have the white pair that I just showed you guys, but I definitely need to add these to my collection. Oh man, these things go crazy. So this is the Gary Payton other version when he played for the lakers um he had that pair what was this a uh, cal 13 lows something slight what else we got in here that's the shoe from earlier so there is just a lot of heat in here guys dj augustine bam this honestly is all the dj augustine stuff i think he was on jordan brand i don't think he's on jordan brand anymore i don't remember because this stuff is from a while ago I think he's still in the league. Is he still in the league? Don't he play for the Magic? I, I thought he played for the Magic. Know. Um, here we go. Kentucky. There's a white and a black version. What we got in here? Is this the Finley 12? This is a sleeper right here. Let me see. Is it? Oh, it's a PSNY. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> I ain't trying to downplay him or nothing, but thought it sounded a little bit better. Rip Hamilton, Rip City, Rip Hamilton 13s. Another great PE. Again, at that era when you saw the Jayhawks and the UNCs and all that stuff, these right here, to me, grails. I love them. I love them. I love them. Unfortunately, he's a size 14, so I've had multiple Rip Hamilton PEs in my collections throughout the days, but again, I'm a 13, so I never got to really wear them that often, but I love the Rip Hamilton PEs. Here we go. Kobe 8 sample from back in the day. PE sample. Now we saw the one with him signed, the signed pair that he wore. This yeah. is a smaller version. Looks like they're dead stock. Pristine condition. We're gonna leave them in the box and let them just do what they do. Let them continue to marinate. Another grail. When you talk about PEs right here, this is one right here. And I, I know this isn't the correct box, but I know for a fact, this is a grail for a lot of sneaker heads. Marshall Falk. Remember Marshall Falk, right? Yeah. Get the 28 on the back. When it comes to OG PEs and that kind of era, early 2000s, like you cannot not mention this sneaker. Charles Woodson, Randy Moss, Marshall Falk, like NFL guys that were on Jordan brand originally. Great shoes, great shoes in that time. We saw this shoe already in the cases over there. Oregon 7s. Got another Chris Paul 8. Oh, this one right here, I love, I love. Terror Squad, 
New York Knicks. H right here. Another great shoe. Got your OVO Tings. These look like they're just sample tagged OVO Tings. This is a very interesting thing when it comes to Drake shoes. What do you guys think? Let me know down below in the comment section. Um, I feel like he has the worst uh, collaborations low key when it comes to like Eminem, Travis Scott, and like, you know what I'm saying? Drake doesn't pass Everybody. any of the, like these, you know what I'm saying? They, they just kind of really slack my bad, y'all. They kind of just, I mean, don't get me wrong. Premium, nice, yes, yes, yes. Then I'm assuming those are the 12s or the 8s or something. I was the 12s, same. Yeah, but you got the 8s, the 12s, the 10s, different stuff like that, and it just didn't really hit that hard. Like, and you know, you got the speckled uh, Drake 4s, stuff like that. Well, that's just a bird four. Don't get me wrong, but I want to say Q Rich. I can't remember. This is a size 15. It's been a while. I haven't seen these in so long. Because there was uh, Eddie Jones and Q Rich that had pairs. See, here's another bang bang. See the six compared to the three, like we saw in the other pair. So the sizes will be an indicator too in the numbers on the shoe. Give you guys a little bit of tat that rat a tat zim zap. All right, what else we got, bro? There's so many shoes. I hope you guys are enjoying this. We're talking about a lot when it comes to sneakers. Here we got the Florida Gators nines. Got the crazy bottom on them right here. It's like a boot style. Turf bottom. Very durable. Um, these don't really hit for that much money. A lot of people think, oh, it's a PE. Don't get me wrong, six, seven hundred bucks, still a lot of money, right? But compared to some of these other shoes. Those, nobody cares about those. Another one. What else we got in here? This one's kind of pride in there. We're just gonna leave that one in there. We'll never know. Like I said, we're trying to get through everything, but there's definitely a lot. You wanna kind of look on this side? We haven't looked in the center of the room. Got the Supreme Forces. Got the V-Longs. What size are these? 18? 15? These big. things are huge. Ooh, look at this. Vintage. This ain't that new retro. This ain't that Jordan brand pack. It's that old school right here. What else we got? Kid Robot Air Max Ones. For all my Air Max heads out there. Look at that right there. Crazy. It's all the accessories, the lace lock, or the little hang tags and the laces and everything that go in there. Definitely a lot. Oh, I see some OG boxes, y'all. Now we are talking. What we got right here? OG Olympic Sevens. Look at this. Perfect. Perfect. Look at that. Look at that. What else we got in here? OG Pair Sevens. Perfect. Perfect. Look at that. This is crazy, bro. There is just literally decades of history up in here as well. Look at these Air Maxes, bro. I don't even know, honestly, don't get me wrong. I do not know what these are. Like, I know they're Air Max ones, but I couldn't tell you. Like, if they have some special meaning or something. I'm not the Air Max one fanatic. Another classic. There's just so much in here, bro. Look at the forces. Look at the forces. So there's a lot of um, Kobe, Terra Squad, LeBron, like a bunch of different stuff you're gonna see. See the chest piece right there. You see the chest piece right there. You see the TS on the back. And that ain't Travis Scott. <laughs> that ain't Travis Scott. Jeez Louise. Ooh, Atmos. Little John. Little Fat. Let me know what y'all think about these. I love these. I love these right here. I'm still trying to add another pair to my collection. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my gosh. The LeBron forces? What y'all know about this time? This era? 
great times. What's in this box? Oh, this is like some special stuff. Night track. Look at these things, bro. What the heck? These are like some good dancing shoes right here. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Okay, hold on. Let me. The box is like a little kind of. Here we go. The double R. Oh my gosh. Bro, I don't know if you guys can see the leather. The leather on these things are amazing. Like, stuff with these, that's what I was saying earlier. I don't know if you guys saw it in the last uh, episode, but just the materials on the older stuff, especially the early 2000s. Got that embroidery on the back. Four, one. Uh, we got some more sheets. Ooh, ooh, I don't know if you can make it this way, but we got the sheets right here. White patent leather. The sheet logo on the back end. Whole lot of sheet forces. Look at this. Bam. Different colorway. Bam. Different colorway. Bam. Different colorway. They're stacked up, bro. Like, look, all of these are different, too. Like, there's like. Look at. Terra Squad. Joey Craig, where you at, baby? Hey, send this video. To Fat Joe, tell him I'm trying to come to your house and I'm trying to see the collection, bruh. I mean, we wear the same size. We might as well do a video. We might can make some trades. And I got some samples too. I know you think you got everything, but you know what I'm saying? I got a couple things too, bruh. You know what I'm saying? Crazy. Crazy. Now, I mean, I, I don't get me wrong. Now, he got his own shoes. You know what I'm saying? So I ain't, I ain't as popping as you yet, but I'm coming for you, bro. I'm coming for you, bro. <laughs> We got the Kobe forces right here, as you can see. Denim down, leather sock liner, orange piping, going crazy on these joints. I guess we'll show some of these real quick. And anyways, we got the <laughs> got some more sheed forces. Got a lot of sheed forces right here. Look at this, bro. Just sitting. Just a little warm pair. Really? Oklahoma Force. Something very light what we got in here see these are my size i got rid of my pair and i think i need to get them back so uh i'm gonna be coming for these oregon state i know i like the ducks and all but i gotta represent my town oregon my city i mean my state here goes another one oregon sixes just chilling pair of kobe's these things are so light bro it's crazy, crazy. Uh, what else we got in here a lot of Air Maxes, Air Max 180s, a um, bunch of different stuff. Little runners. These are probably like oh, all. Retro. These are all just like different. Pantone pack. Right here, boom. What else we got? Pantone threes, boom. Pantone 15s, boom. Y'all know I love the 15s. Hold on, let me. I guess you guys can see the threes too, but look at these 15s, bro. Somebody legit was like rocking all of these. That's what's crazy. Literally all of these are warm. Like, somebody was out here rocking these in these shirts. Is this a 13? What size is this? Uh-oh. Bro, this is a 13. Uh-oh. And they're warm. The list is just getting. I could get these. They're worn. This is a good, this is, I'm gonna get these for a good deal. Yeah, you need those. Hey, should I get these? Drop a comment down below. Bro, I didn't know they had these in the 13. Yeah, we're gonna have to talk about these. Stay tuned, guys. Stay tuned. <laughs> I'm gonna have to add those to the stacks. We're gonna, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna have to make a note to self. Now I got like four pairs on the list. Oh, this one's different. We've seen this one before. I know a lot of people haven't seen these. Give me them Drizzy Drake vibes with the eights. Now see, okay, when you think about the OVL eights that everybody else got compared to like something like this, right? You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. they did better. Right. Materials, everything. But, you know what I'm saying? Transos and outsoles, like, giving you those premium vibes. I feel like, but again, it's a Jordan 8. Like, who cares? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Seamless 14s, all black leather. So they did a few different one of these. They had the suede pair, they had the black pair. And um, I'm trying to remember, wasn't there a brown pair? I swear there was a brown pair too. So many different shoes, bro. Got a lot running through my mind. Some Air Max 90s right here. 
A lot of older stuff. Safari joints. They look like they're autographed by somebody. Got an autograph on here. So I'm assuming like this is like a first run or something, first or second. OG signed by a designer or something. Up here, what we got? History of flight. We talked about that earlier in the second in the first video. If you haven't seen that, reference back to that. These are a size 13. Oh my god. These are a size 13. So we had like the mellow, you know, and all the stuff. And the thing, the problem with a shoe like this, like we talked about earlier, there's no like special branding. Like this could, it, you know, there's no logos. There's nothing special besides the colorway materials. Don't get me wrong, that's not a bad thing. But it doesn't say like, you know, PE. It just, it just screams like nice GR or a limited release, you know? Right. So the price, when you think about that, it's like, oh, this could be a nice, you know, four or $500 sneaker. But because it's a sample and it's more rare, now you're talking six, seven, eight thousand dollars for a shoe, and it literally has Jumpman branding, no Nike Air, nothing special. So there's always stuff to think about when it comes to you know having PEs, buying PEs, different stuff like that. On here, it says red suede, size 13, 2012, sixty-five thousand dollars. Bro, what? Stop. Olympic. Olympic fours right here. Again, we saw Chris Paul and um, uh, Carmelo Anthony have both of these. This is a size 13 as well. Uh-oh. $45,000. Oh, that's better. Oh, yeah. That's great. That's good. That's great. You can Choker on fives. We saw these already. 45, 65, literally. Okay, look. Hold on. We just got to retract for one second. This shoe and... This shoe right here, hold on, let me open it up for y'all. These two shoes, 100 bands for these two shoes right here. 110. 110. Sneakers are different these days, bro. That's all I'm saying. Sneakers are different these days. That's all I got to say. I remember when the only ten thousand dollar shoes was M and M's and undefeateds and mags. You got Carhartt fours right here <laughs> with these thirty five bands. I'm sure. Something light. You got Carhartt. Look at Carhartt. They got a Carhartt in a size seven and a half, two size eights, nine and a half, ten and a half, and a fifteen. Eighteen thousand, twenty thousand, twenty two thousand, twenty two thousand, eighteen thousand. You think those are updated prices too? I don't even know if those are updated. That's why twenty five thirty, right? Yep. Dornbreaker 4s. Ah, I love the Dornbreaker 4s. These things went up too, honestly. All this stuff expensive. Michigan 5s. This is probably one of the least favorite Michigan 5s for a lot of people. These don't hit for too much. Um, AKA like three to four bands. Oh, you, you know say that? Light. Another Carhartt. This is probably that size 15 pair. These are pretty big. Oh, Give man. you guys a, a better look at these right here. Look at that sock liner, bro. Super fire. Price, definitely high for sure. Don't get me wrong. But definitely a nice shoe as well. You know what I'm saying? And this also, like I said, it screams, you know, PE. Like, it screams uh, exclusive, you know, towards somebody. It has the Carhartt logo. It has the m, &M on the sock liner. It has the mask on the back. Compared to that red pair that we saw, it just says, like, Jumpman on it. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. it doesn't say anything special. But it's all in the details. All in the details. I think that's what really... The storytelling through the sneaker, I think that's a huge thing for me. So don't get me wrong. There's a lot of nice PEs out there, a lot of cool stuff, but some I think are just a little bit better. Chris Paul 13s. This is the PE version, not the general release version. They're different. This pair is a lot nicer. The quality of materials, the color of the blues is a lot different as well. Something to look at. Transformer 5s. If you guys haven't seen this review, I've had these before and reviewed them for you guys in the past. So make sure you guys go check out that Oregon Five. We talked about those already. Five Five. This is some of the stuff that's in the vault case. Here we got a Michigan Five. So this one has the Jumpman on the back. So there's a few different versions of these actually. So this one has the Jumpman on the back. The other one has a hand on the back. And this one was done for like the Just Just Don family and friends. 
that has the jump man because it wasn't actually michigan related he just liked the colorway so they say you know what? we'll just do the jump man without the michigan hand on the back and give you some pairs for your friends and family so that's kind of how that came about and then the public just seen the two different versions and didn't even realize there was two different versions so like we saw earlier georgetown fours i'm sure they got a couple different pairs of these right here ah this is why we i was just talking about this right so drake splatter fours like this is what we were talking about when it comes to splatter fours it's a bread four but it's on a whole nother level right it's got a lot of different details you got the splatter on there look at that midsole all the details right there you got the white stitch around the tongue and a sit and then you got the white behind the nets on the mesh right here look how yellow that hang tag is yeah i know the tag is going crazy wow about the tab the tab which part on the on the back side of it on the back side high? of it has the ovo right here um now there's actually i think three or four different versions of this splatter four so some people may make that same misconception like we talked about the travis scott uh fours the purple ones or the brown ones or something right there's actually different versions of those as well and there's different splatter placements as you guys saw from the review that i did on my channel with the pair that i have that pair is different than this pair that i just showed you guys right here so again if you guys want to go back and look at some of the older videos on the channel i'll make sure that i have all the details for you guys blackout fives i love rocking this shoe they got some pairs as well this was a wear test sample sneaker um just to check out the midsoles on the shoe to see you know how they were kind of configured and if they were going to go forward with that model so they did different wear test samples they had a couple different variations different sizes and stuff like that so i like this shoe i have a pair as well there's multiple pairs out there on the market so terror squad fives new york knicks colors crazy or eights my bad <laughs> i said fives so we got the ace right here tokyo five see the five i knew the fives was coming somewhere <laughs> So these ones right here, I gotta be very careful with. I'll make sure I don't touch the slate or nothing, but Tokyo Fives, a grail for a lot of people. A shoe that's continued to rise in value. Something that was $3,000, $5,000, $10,000, $20,000, $30,000. $30, like the price is just continuously rising. Um, there's a couple different versions of this as well. This is the pair with the black toe. And then you have another pair that has a yellow underneath the toe right here. So again, like I said, when it comes to samples and PEs and all that stuff, there's a lot of levels to it as well. So you can get into the game, but you got to understand there's more to it than you think. So hopefully, you know, I'm just trying to drop some, a couple dimes and nuggets for you guys throughout the video, just about some of these sneakers. And again, like I said, we got a lot to go through. So I'm trying to make it snappy. We got another try or Travis. I'm, see, I'm thinking, oh, there's so many shoes. We got the uh, Transformer 5s right here. Mark Wahlberg, again, we did the review on the channel. So if you guys wanna see that from the pair that I had, another Tokyo 5, bang, bang, they coming back to back with it, bro. Oregon 5s, we've seen enough of those. I feel like they got like eight pairs of Oregon 5s, bro. For sure. Oregon 6s, Just in time. this is a size 13. Oh my gosh. <sighs> As y'all know, the pair that I had on the channel that I did the review on, those weren't my size, so I got rid of them. Another Blackout 5. That's crazy. It looks like it might be time for me to add them to the collect. This is a Dornbecker 5 right here. How you guys, how you guys enjoying the video so far? We're going through a lot of heat, a lot of bangers. Did we already go down here? We didn't make it this far down yet, huh? Michigan okay prime example so this is what I talked about earlier y'all you see the hand on the back remember the pair I just showed you guys that has the jump man on the back so this is what I was saying it has the hand on the back Michigan on the insole Michigan on the tongue I've done a review on this before and uh, I've talked about it on the channel actually here in blitz I've done a comparison and then I showed you guys the other pair that I had before Ultimate 89 aka like. olympic for forty five thousand dollars literally <laughs> so this was an olympic colorway uh that came out for mellow chris paul and them those type of guys and then next thing you know we saw the alternate came out as a gr version without the gold and everything like that on the back and now this is like a forty something thousand dollar shoe which is crazy right because you'd be like well i'm not just buy the gr for 200 bucks 400 mm -hmm. bucks look at that oregon sixes bro another one another pair can you see that i don't know if you can see it or not i can see it Kobe box. oh my gosh oh my gosh 
Another one. Bro. Another one. Myro Sevens. Oh, I just added those to the collection. Happy about that. Oregon Six is on deck, boy. Uh oh. <laughs> All right, so as y'all know, I'm on the hunt for all the college series sixes that recently been coming out. I haven't been able to add the UCLA sixes. UCLA just got back on Jordan brand. So now they got their own PE. This was their announcement shoe. I don't have these yet. These don't look like my size either. I'm gonna see if they got my size though. Um, I think they have multiples. Let me see. These are all, yep. Or when I see that box tag, I'm like, they're the same shoe. Yeah. Three pairs right here. Hold on. So as you guys can see right here, they got four different pairs. I don't think any of these are in my size though. This looks like the biggest one. Size 12. Y'all are disrespectful. Where's the 13s at, bruh? Y'all know I need a 13. All right, it's all right, it's all right, you know. We'll, we'll let them we'll let them slide we'll let them slide it's okay put these back real quick so up here we have all of the college series fours that we talked about earlier and then these are kind of some of those pairs as well so you have georgetown like we spoke about this is a florida gators this is a size 13 dead stock the reason why i don't like these is because the outsole too bro it's just the the, the translucent outsole is gonna yellow. Like, it's you know, not gonna wear last it. you for that money. Yeah, it's just not gonna last, bro. Oregon 3s, we talked about those. 29s, Cal and Marquette got these way back in the day. This feels like it was way back in the day. Loki a while ago. A lot of PEs then came out since then. Oregon 4s, another pair of those. So this is a lot of the college series um, stuff that you're gonna see right here. Oregon nines, need those. Duckmans, 13s, going crazy. Duckman fives, another pair. This pair is huge. Let's, uh, we got more college stuff down here. This pair is huge, bro. What size is that, 16? So we got a lot of college PEs that look, okay. Michigan, 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 undefeated. We've seen all this stuff, we've seen all this stuff, bam. I know you guys haven't seen this one. Travis Scott PlayStation Dunk. Oh yeah, it's getting real. There were only 24 pairs of this shoe made. Crazy, bro. If you guys wanna see the review, I have it on the channel, full in-depth review. I'm gonna show you guys a banger. I'm gonna show you guys a banger to close off this episode, and then we're gonna get to the next episode. You'll see the next one after this. But this one is gonna, make everything worthwhile for watching until the end and if people didn't they're gonna be mad because when you tell them, when they tell them what they see right here oh this is about to be crazy you think they're ready bro i don't think they're ready can you guys guess what's inside this box oh my gosh bro this is crazy all right you got the kanye west with the air jordan 6 bottom Remember when they said Yeezy jumped over Jumpman and then they brought out the photos about this shoe right here? Yeah. This is a sneaker that's probably worth a house, bro. Legit crazy. Yeezy one, Air Jordan six bottom. And as you guys know, he used like, you know, the Jordan three bottom, different stuff like that for his models and the different meshes between two shoes and stuff or multiple shoes, honestly. Um, so it makes sense. But you got the satin sock liner, the suede on the upper, the patent leather, on the strap, the premium leather on the back, swoosh on the inside. These things are crazy. Sample tagged up like wow. Air Jordan 6 outsole. Do you, hey, if you guys want your own review, full video on this shoe in particular, let me know down below in the comment section. I'll try to get it done for you guys someday. These things are crazy. I think it's time. I think I think it's time we take a nap, go yep. get some snacks, yep. and then we'll come back for episode three. All right, y'all.
Yo, if you enjoyed this video and want to grow your collection or make extra money on the side, I built a VIP mastermind that will teach you everything that I've learned about growing my sneaker collection over the past 15 years. This will also give you access to the DNA fam in my VIP community where we talk about investing outside of sneakers. And don't worry. If you don't plan on joining the VIP community, it's okay. I also set up a private DNA fam community that gives you access to all the behind the scenes looks from the studio and multiple chances to win free sneakers and gear from weekly and monthly challenges. So all you need to do is click on the link down below in the description or the first link pinned in the comment section. That will get you set up and into the community. I'm excited to see you guys on the inside.